Hello everyone, it's Kitaki here. Today we bring you uh, week 10 of the LHMP. We uh, we go up against Mike, coach of the uh, Sable Eyes, White Forest Sable Eyes. So yeah, uh, let's go through Mike's roster real quick, and then our team and we'll get right into the battle. This time I'm gonna take too long on the, talking about my team builder, my team mom, because team moms, <laughs> moms, because uh, I feel like the proper way to do this with a team builder. If not, you just mention a little bit of the sets that I brought. So yeah, Mike has X2 Tox Specs, Tapu Coco, Gyarados, which can be Mega, Necrozma, Pidgeot, which can also be Mega, Salamence, Kingdra, Ditto, Audino, Tyrantrum, Serena, and Raichu Alola. So Mike used to have a rain team, which was very uh, terrifying. But he traded away his Pelipper and his um, Mega Swampert on the trading week. So thankfully we don't have to deal with rain. That's kind of cool. Um, the Tapu Koko Raichalola core though is very terrifying. As I had it before. And it can do so much work. And then Serena is the mon we hand him. Uh, we trade him for the Decidueye. But he didn't bring it so. That's cool. Uh, the team we brought here is uh, Choice Scarf Thunders Incarnate. Um, we have... Uh, Life Orb Greninja, I think. Yeah, I think it was Life Orb Greninja. Oh, the Choice Scarf Thunder has Thunderbolt, U Turn, Sludge Wave, and Hit Power Ice. Greninja has Dark Pulse, uh, Hydro Pump, Extra Sensory. No, actually, we don't have Hydro, we have Ice Beam, Extra Sensory, and Grass Knot. We wish to hit the Mega Gyarados. Then we have a uh, Spit F, the CGI, to take on Goku with Spear Shackle, Leaf Blade, Roost, and Toxic. Then we have a Stealth Rocks. Uh, defensive Stilix, Earthquake, Stout Rocks, Roar, and Stonage. Then we have Defensive Shaman. Because Mega Guerrero's was definitely a pain on the ass for this team. So we have Defensive Shaman coming for the first time. The same as the CGI. With a Lead Seed, Synthesis, Seed Flare, and Earth Power, I think. I think, I'm not sure. Then we have uh, a Tormice come out oh, with Focus Blast, Earthquake, um, Clanging Scales, and he's holding uh, Fighting MC, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we'll get right into the battle. It's really with Scarf Thunderous, because he's a safe lead. He's gonna lead with Gyarados, which is kinda odd. And I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt as he stays in, which is even more odd. Uh, we do 977%, and he goes for a Dragon Dance. So maybe he thinking he can now speed me this turn and kill me. Uh, he probably that's why he stayed in, but we're just gonna kill it off with the next Thunderbolt. So definitely not his best play. He gonna he's gonna go into Mans, and we're gonna go hard switch right into Steelix. I go right for the Simu, which is a devastating Drake, probably outrage. Could be a meteor. No, it's definitely outrage. The Drake would it no more. Here we're gonna set up a rocks. No, we're actually gonna go for Stonage, just to be safe. But uh, we definitely should have saw our rocks. But we're gonna do that here as he set up a Toxic Spikes, which that's kind of scary. And then, but well, we can pressure this Toxic Pest with Earthquake. Unfortunately, though, he's faster than me, which I didn't even thought about it. Um, didn't even thought about. It. So he's faster than me, so he got a Scold, which if he gets a Scold Burn, it could be very bad. So he's gonna be a full Born Kid here. Just to get some Black Slush recovery as we go for Earthquake uh, once again. He's gonna switch out as we're gonna go. He's gonna switch into Ditto, <laughs> which cup is our Stilix. Uh, he's gonna take a lot of damage from this Earthquake. So I don't know what's up with that. Here we're gonna switch into Shemin because we know our Stilix and we can take any hit. As he just goes for Earthquake. Other option would have been like Stun Edge or something. Uh, as we're gonna, because we have Natural Cure, one T spike is definitely not a big of issue. But this fucking annoyance called regular on and off is gonna come in, and you're gonna see how much this fucking seed flare does. That does 27. As he's gonna go for a knockoff, knockoff our leftovers, which is kind of bad. And this SPF Mega Audino is gonna prove to be a pain on the butt. SPF Mega Audino plus. Um, Talk specs, it's just very annoying for my team to deal with. But, uh, because he's Lead Seed, we're gonna go into Stilix, we're gonna get a little bit of uh, Lead Seed recovery. As he actually protects here, but we're not gonna allow him to. 
we're gonna roll them out so he doesn't get the wish up because keeping the thing low is very good for us as so we're gonna go into Coco right he's just gonna nature madness here and he's gonna give me his Coco so so far the Tumus death Gerardo's sent up a Coco which <laughs> it was the biggest threat so his girl are just dead now just cause he decided to suck it off incoming is the mess we're gonna roar him out because we expect them to drag this up which is very uh, unfortunate for him he's gonna we're gonna pull him out into ditto then again we're gonna go into shaman because like i said shaman can take any head from this as he goes for the stonage and here i believe we're gonna synthesis it uh do we yeah yeah we do okay cool so with this synthesis up just to be a little bit healthier but this fucking annoying ass mon is back in so <laughs> We're going to lead seed him, and I think we're gonna switch into Stilix. Okay, this is going very slow. We're gonna put him in fast mode. He's gonna go, we're gonna go into Stilix, but he actually gonna pass the witch into the mans, which is kind of scary. He's gonna dragon dance again this time. I'm thinking he might attack. So yeah, so hold up. So this turn I think he might attack because we roared the last time, but nope, he just goes for the dragon dance again. And we get a stone age crit so that crit did matter because the stone age was gonna do around a maximum of like 75 percent so that crit definitely matter however i did have scarf thunderous on the back and i wasn't gonna allow this thing to get to plus two to me because uh if he stayed into drawing this again i was just gonna roar him out and it was gonna come it was gonna be pretty much dead coming back into rock so we could have remained kill him with thunderous but the crit is gonna save us the trouble of doing that so he's gonna go into ditto copying our megastelix again so far actually megastelix has killing the coco and the salamence so that's two kills for it which is pretty kind of cool he's gonna earthquake or shaman and it's gonna do nothing he's gonna save the two percent ditto which i don't understand because uh he's gonna die and re-entry hazards Actually, uh, he tries to pass a wish to it here. I think he didn't. He probably didn't know that um, that hazards affect you before the wishes pass. At least that's what I want to think, or something. Here, uh, we could have killed this Toxapest, but we got an absolute minimum roll, which kind of sucks because you're gonna see uh, that here he's going to kill us. But. Uh, we're gonna go into this as it's gonna okay so this turns are kind of repetitive here we're gonna dark pulse because the ticks t spikes up that's very bad for us and because the spot of audino can just eat hits and cause a regenerator it's gonna be very annoying for us the only way we can beat this thing is if we toxic it with the decidueye so we're gonna go into shaman to lead seed i think gonna skip a couple times because this gets so repetitive as we're going to thunderous here expecting the toxic he gets the full wish so that is a full health he banks for bunkers he as he goes back into this Tebow does nothing to it and yeah with Tebow again he does nothing to it he toxic us so here's where we're going to assiduate right and here I'm praying that he doesn't go into toxic as he does not we actually go for toxic he goes for the knockoff uh, we eat our cover berry but now because the thing is toxic we can just win 1v1 here we're just gonna we're just gonna wish up I mean we're gonna roost up just to be healthy we're gonna trap Pex with the with the spur shackle now he can switch out he's gonna set up multi spikes and this game is pretty much over it's just very repetitive still here is we leave play trying to lower down the toxic picks because for some reason we didn't have recover oh shit it said it was cold toxic spikes baneful bunker and toxic i think yeah that, that's what it said and then uh we're just gonna leave play till this thing's dead i'm gonna skip this turn because this is basically just a stuff as here me trying to stop as uh, he tries to just bang for bunker, score, bang for bunker, score. As here, I think this is the last one? No. And we do read the protect there, leave play again. 
yeah. As you can see, this this battle ended like a fucking turn 30, but it's going 52 just because Tux best refuses to die. And here's where we're gonna kill him. Critical hit didn't matter. I'm pretty sure it didn't. And uh, this thing just loses to a uh, 1v1 because it's toxic. So I think he's gonna forfeit. So thank God he saved us another fucking like 10 turns by wish protecting. So yeah, GG to Mike. Definitely some questionable, but questionable plays by second the likes of Coco and Gerrido is very early on the game also trying to set up in front of a Mega Steelix with the Salamence and yeah but at least this uh, is a nice 5 win for us this puts us even farther away from everyone in the race uh, in the first place as we are in the first place right now I think we have like close 30 something um, think I'm pretty sure so yeah this was Eskitakio and I'll see you later bye bye